Hey GFFs and welcome back again to It's Beyond G and today we will be making an apple pineapple dump cake. The ingredients needed are one can of apples, one can pineapples, one box of Betty Crocker yellow moist dry mixed cake, some cinnamon, some butter, and some brown sugar. You will need a 9 by 13 inch pan. We will spray the bottom with Baker's Joy so that it won't stick. We are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We are going to take both cans of fruit and we are going to combine them, mix them together evenly, and place them at the bottom of the pan. So here I am adding in my apples that are being so stubborn. Come on out, come on out. So these are the Simply apples. These are not the sweetest ones that are available, but feel free to use the brand and kind that you want. And these are the dull pineapple tidbits in pineapple juice. So we're not draining anything. We're just going to combine it and put it at the bottom of our pan, mix it up well and evenly. We are now going to take our yellow cake mix and we're going to add it evenly over the top of the fruit mixture. It smells so good. All right, so I am taking my dry cake mix. Again, this is yellow mix. Use what you want, okay? If you don't like yellow, use something else. But I'm showing you how I do this, okay? This is a favorite in our house. And we just had a taste for it. And we're going to eat it with some delicious vanilla ice cream on top. But as you can see now, we've emptied the packaging. And now I am going to begin to spread it out evenly. Now we are going to prepare our butter. We are using one and a, and a half sticks of butter. We're going to pre-melt and soften the, the butter in the microwave. And then we're going to pour it on top of our yellow cake mixture. I'm using Lando Lakes butter tonight. Again, we're using one and one half sticks. I just place them in a small bowl, put it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. It's soft enough. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit before pouring it over my mix and you want to make sure you cover it as evenly as possible and sometimes it'll clump and stick together but try to get it on those edges if you want to use a little more butter feel free um, you want to make sure it is wet enough so that when it bakes that all of that cake mixture will be covered with some kind of wetness whether it be the fruit at the bottom or the butter at the top but we want to make sure that it's all baking and cooking so that it won't be dry and crumbly we want to cook it all evenly i am now taking my mccormick seasoning it's cinnamon i'm going to just put a little on top of that and then i am going to follow up with my brown sugar you can use this method or you can omit this method either way it's going to be delicious but i'm just going to take a handful of that brown sugar because it just adds that goodness to it this is also a good recipe that you can uh, make around the holidays or in the fall or thanksgiving it is such uh an affordable dessert but yummy yummy to our tummies i'm telling you this is going to be a hit in your family so i am ready to place this in the oven which i already have preheated on 350 degrees and we are going to bake this for about 55 minutes depending on your oven you want to start watching it around the 45 minute mark but you want it nice and brown you want to make sure all that cake mixture is cooked well and as you can see here's the final result fresh and out of the oven it's baked just so perfectly you have that apple just oozing up out of the cake mix and the cinnamon and the brown sugar is so good so make sure you follow this recipe thanks for subscribing see you next time